Hello everyone, Ronnie J here from InternetRadioStation.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install and configure Sam Broadcaster to communicate or stream your music or content. You will need the MySQL database installer, and if you look on the website, there's a link there where you can download it. It's free. Sam Broadcaster gives you the option of using two types of databases. You can use their proprietary built-in Firebird database, which I do not recommend because it is not stable. Or you could use the MySQL database, which is very, very stable and it's very fast. So I recommend that you use MySQL. I have it right here inside this folder. And also, if you look on the website, you will see a link where you can download it for free. And I'll show you how to install that. I also have my SAM Broadcaster installer file and you can download a 14 day free trial of SAM Broadcaster just to give it a run to see if you like it. I'm pretty sure that you will. I have my full version here and my registration key which I cannot show you as I purchase the software. Alright, so the first step will be to install the MySQL database. In my SAM Broadcaster installations, I always find it best to install the database first. So in this example, we're going to install the MySQL database. So let's go into that folder and this is that file. We'll double click on it to open it. And it brings up this MySQL server setup. This is a wizard. Just step through it. Do as I do. Click Next. Click I accept the terms of the license agreement. Next. And let's do a typical installation. Then click Install. And in about 30 seconds, you'll be brought to the screen. Click Next. Next again. And make sure this button here that says Launch the MySQL Instance Configuration Wizard is checked. Then click Finish. And it brings up this dialog box. Click Next. Then tick on the Standard Configuration Radio button. And then click Next. Make sure that the Install as Windows Service box is checked and service name MySQL is fine and that the launch the MySQL server automatically button is checked then click next untick where it says modify security settings so all this will be grayed out then click next and then click execute and the MySQL server instance will be installed and in about 30 seconds, you will see this window here is telling us that the configuration file is created, the Windows Service MySQL is installed, and service started successfully. Press Finish to close the wizard, so click Finish. And that's it. That's all there is to installing the MySQL database. The next step now is to install SAM Broadcaster. Now that we have installed the MySQL database, now we can get on to the more important business of installing SAM Broadcaster. If you haven't already, go to the SAM Broadcaster website and download your 14-day free trial or go ahead and purchase the software. And yes, I'm asking that you purchase the software through my website. So here we have the SAM Broadcaster executable. So double-clicking on that will bring up this installation wizard. So let's step through it. Let's click Next. I agree. And what we want to do at this point here is untick the button that says Firebird Server. Recall I mentioned earlier that uh, Sam Broadcaster gives you the option of installing one or two databases. One being the Firebird Server, that's their proprietary database, or the MySQL database. So I'm having you untick this because we had already installed the MySQL database and we'll use that database with this installation of SAM Broadcaster. So do that and then click Next. Then click Install. It doesn't take long at all. Alright, so let's go ahead and untick this button that says uh, Show Me. So I'll untick that and click Finish. Now, what's going to happen is that you're going to have an icon on your desktop. You're going to want to double click on that SAM Broadcaster icon to finish the installation. So, I'll do that right now. When you click on the SAM Broadcaster icon on your desktop, you might uh, get this uh, dialog window here asking you to activate the product. If you do, go ahead and click OK. On the trial version, I don't believe you're going to see this. 
And this is where you would enter in the product registration key, and I have mine here. And I'll paste it right in there, and there it is. Then I'll click the Activate button, or you can come down here and do Buy Online Now. Activate. Product activation completed successfully. Thank you for your support. I will click OK. And this is the section where you get another wizard for Sam Broadcaster. And when you click the next button, you'll see that uh, it's going to have you uh, do some other things here. So let's click on Next. And notice that the MySQL radio button is checked. And the reason why that's checked, as opposed to, say, their proprietary database system, Firebird, is because we have previously installed the MySQL database. So this is a good thing. So that's what you want to see. Then click Next. Then uh, use the default settings. Next. In this section, Music Library Files, you have the option here of uh, setting your music library directory. And in my case, it's going to reside in my music folder within my user profile. So I'm going to leave this as the default. And you can also uh, add default uh, sound effects and demo files. So I like to do that on my first installations, and you should too. So leave both of these checked and click Next and pick your sound device. I find that leaving these at the default settings are all fine. And click Next. Setup complete. Click Finish. And here it is. This is Sam Broadcaster Pro. And this is what it looks like. You have three desktops, A, B, and C. B and C, and they're all different. And what I'm going to do in a later video, in fact, later videos, I'm going to take you through each and every component uh, of Sam Broadcaster Pro and show you how to use them. These uh, little windows here you see, these can all be moved around or you can delete them. And I will give you my or show you my particular Sam Broadcaster setup and I find it works very well for me, very efficient. And I'll take you inside and show you how to configure all the various areas here. For example, you have your station details you can enter in here something called statistic relays. I'll teach you what that is, your audio mixer pipeline. Right now it all may look like a whole lot, but once you get into it you find that it makes sense. It's logical. Have your cross-fading controls. I don't like these SAM broadcasters default cross-fading controls, so I'll give you mine and they may work uh, better for you. Something called a gap killer. I'll explain that. Playlist rotation rules, which is a very nice feature here in uh, helping you to automate your station using different playlists. Request policy. You can set a request policy for users to and look into your media library and request a song. I have some general options here that we can set. Uh, HTML output and your registration key should you choose to purchase software. So we'll go into all of that and uh, by the time we're finished uh, you're going to find that you're going to love this piece of software. I'll stop right here. This was basically an instruction on showing you how to install the MySQL database and how to install SAM Broadcaster Pro. The video to follow will show you how to configure SAM Broadcaster and how to rearrange your desktops so that they're more efficient. And again, I'll show you my particular configuration that you can mimic. All right, this is Ronnie J. See you later.